like in, in particular to acknowledge uh, the technicians and the scientific committee who took all the burden to come here uh, before us and who will be staying after us and all the great job they did. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dr. Jama, thank you so much for hosting us. You say you are the mother of the Federal Republic of Somalia. So it was a pleasure for us <laughs> to come and help the first um, meeting, the conference, of, the research conference in here. It's our pleasure. A few years back, when I came to office, the priorities for us for the Ministry of, of Health was the regulation. Without regulation, we are not going anywhere far. That's why we decided to propose the Bill National Professional uh, Health Council, which was already in its steps to be established. But in 2017, we proposed it to the government. It was in fully endorsed and then passed the bill by late 2020, during the pandemic. And the president has signed it, so we are very proud of, her, of that. The second step was reestablishment of the National Institute of Health. I know how important this institution is. is I have specialized in the National Institute of Health of Italy. We decided to establish it and in 2019 we proposed it to the, the Council of Ministers and unanimously they endorsed it. The third, which is very important also, and I've been hearing the discussion about the pharmacists, the essential medicine, and that young uh, professional doctor of ex Dickfair Hotel, uh, Hospital Dickfair was discussing about the issue of medicine regulation in Somalia. We have proposed it and passed it from the Council of the Ministers and it was pending in the Parliament. Unfortunately, we didn't have the time so political, there was a political uh, issue and it's still pending in the parliament. And I hope as the new parliament, 11th parliament is established, the first, the most urgent action they take is to endorse the article of National Medicine Regulatory Authority. Those three pillars were very important for us. National Professional Health Council, because there, have, there has to be some sort of regulation. National Medicine Regulatory Authority and the National Institute for Health. So for me as FOSIA, for me as a minister, it's an immense pleasure to, today to know that the first step is taken as my mandate is ending. I'm very proud of it. Of course, this success is due to the National Institute for Health, the Ministry of Health, both federal and state level. We always lead the work of young, dynamic professionals, Somali professionals. Thank you so much. <laughs> the leading figure of Dr. Khalif Pira is something I will never ever forget. Thank you so much, Professor. Um, Khalif Bile and your friends from uh, Sweden and all over the world. I was not greeting only the in-hall guests, but also online. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank the Swedish ambassador, the Swedish um, CEDA Corporation, a Swedish Public Health Agency, Somali Health Action Journal, editors, all who contributed to make this happen, both financially and technically. WHO also, WHO also is um, our 
partner who technically builds our capacity. Um, in Somalia, we always hear that Somalis, they don't have capacity, uh, of course, because there is a long history of NGOs in the, in the country for above 30 years. But I assure you, this is a work of Somalis, very young, very dynamic, very, very eager to work 360 degrees. The researchers, we are very proud of you. We gave you the chance nationally, whereby you have all the support, the tool you might need in the future to do research. This is the first step of it. I know we have established the National Institute of Health, but it will be parastatal, so independent when they are performing their uh, job. So it's up to them if they will, but I will highly recommend that they have annual meeting or conference like this, whereby youngsters would have uh, inspiration to take part of this research, at least to learn how to do it. So this is at the beginning of a long journey, which I am sure uh, a lot of us will benefit in the future. We rely on your research. Evidence-based research is a foundation for a good policy and planning in health and to integrate the list of the essential medicine, at least three, four medicines that are fundamental to that issues. Training we are conducting, we hope as a government and with our international partners and donors, whom I'm very, very much grateful uh, to come with us and, and do as much as possible until Somalia will stand with its feet. I'm grateful our donors, Sweden is uh, the second largest donor for Somalia in health, but not only in health, in several areas. During COVID, um, we had the help of many. I'm grateful to them because COVID was a huge burden to our health system and it has created really a lot of problems. So at we try to do our best. We came from a long way. We know where we stand but we want to go as far as we can in a short while. Having the right capacity, having the right directions, guidance, having the right approach, or the approach to use the funds donated in a very efficient way, I am sure we can make a lot of differences in the future. I thank you all. If I forget in particular someone, please apologize. I'm a bit excited, but I'm grateful that today you are here all with us to witness this historic event. I thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you so much.